everyone, welcome back from Top of the Wall. My name is Mason Up, and I have another deck for you today. This one is called Tinker Toys. Whoop. And there's the face cam. So this is Tinker Toys. Tinker Toys is a proliferate deck that wants to have a bunch of things with a bunch of counters and get a bunch of value when we proliferate a bunch of times. Now this deck has gone through a ton of changes over time. It used to be called Throwing Dynamo, and we used to play around more, around more with like tutoring out for serrated arrows and doing other janky nonsense that we should have probably been doing. So let's let's see what is happening with the deck right now. Let's start with all of the things that we can end up putting a bunch of plus one plus one counters in. Starting with Cloudfin Raptor, super easy to get any counters on it at all to start it off. Uh, we got Thriving Tunnel, which is an energy uh, card. It, it can give us a different kind of counter with energy. But it's not really worth getting into energy. There's not a ton of payoff for it. There's a bunch of versatility, but none of those different options are actually potent or worth, you know, like actually investing in. Uh, we got Arcbound Worker. Uh, Arcbound Worker is a creature that is just a 1 1, enters with a plus 1 plus 1 counter because it's a modular creature. Arcbound Stinger is the flying version of that. We have the Fester Creeps, uh, 1 1s that enter with, like, you know, the counter. Um, they can have that counter removed to give everything else minus one, minus one. But if we proliferate it, we can start removing multiple counters at the same time, wrath even bigger creatures, and we just have an automatic really, really, really good game. First game one against elves, <laughs> and a really good game two against elves. Uh, the Iron Bully is a 1-1 for three mana with Menace. Kinda sucks, but it, when it enters, it can throw around a plus one, plus one counter onto any creature. Um, this... Iron Bully is also an evasive creature that we can end up putting the the modular counters on to and uh, increases our artifact creature count, which is part of the reason why it's there. Callus Dismissal is the last uh, plus one plus one counter creature that we have. It's a sorcery that bounces something and then we amass. Then we got a bunch of uh, proliferate cards in the deck. We got Thrumming Bird to, for continuous proliferation. We have a secondary plan. Uh, this is just a cantrip that proliferates for us. Uh, Grim Affliction proliferates and puts a minus one, minus one counter on target creature. So it's a actually good removal spell. Because for three mana, we get to essentially dead weight something and proliferate the rest of our stuff. Yeah, seems perfectly fine. Uh, Serrated Arrows is also another way to get a bunch of value over the course of a game. By playing this out for four mana, it might seem like a lot, but when we go over the mana base, you'll understand. Uh, it actually uh, gets the ability to just ping things by putting the plus the minus one minus one counter on it, and we can proliferate that counter and the counters that remain on it with our proliferation. Finally, a great mana dump is Demir Guild Mage. So for that mana base, um, unimportant parts first. We have some dual lands. We have some islands, and we have some swamps. We're more invested in blue than we are in black. Then we have our counter-based uh, ramp and mana base. So we have these two dual lands that actually will tap for two mana at one time, but they have depletion counters on them. So once the last counter is removed, they automatically sacrifice themselves. But if we keep putting the counters on them, we get a land that just taps for two mana, which is pretty fine, pretty fine. Uh, the Pentad Prism is there for us to get some good fixing, and we can end up putting counters on it. So that, adding that counter onto the Prism actually can give us basically a rebate. We basically, every time we proliferate, we get a rebate on our proliferation spell. So I, I would, I'm down for a quick rebate and some good fixing, and we can actually use all of that mana. We can, all we have to do is just remove a charge counter from it to get the mana, it doesn't say once per turn, we can do it as many times as we want. Lastly, the sideboard, the things that we might be afraid of, we don't particularly like burn at all. We are very much against the idea of burn. So much so that we have Vampiric Link even so to help us not just with burn, but also with Stompy. Um, we have the Rend Claw Trow, uh, a great card against Stompy and the mid-range decks. One of the other aggro decks might be actually Boggles. Aura Flux is there for that. Please, uh, Stormbound Geist is there as a big creature against Delver that we can then, after dies, make super huge. Uh, Callus Dismissal is also there for just handling some non-land permanents that we might want off the board and to mess with our opponent if we feel that the interaction is worth it. Uh, Chainer's Edict is for 
our uh, opponent's boggle creatures. The Demir Guildmage is for when the game goes long and we have plenty of mana to dump into things. Yes, please, Demir Guildmage. Uh, also, for some of those longer games, we have Relic of Progenitus. And for the mid range matchup and small creature matchups, we have Serrated Arrows to mess with our opponent's creatures and just pick off an elf, pick off an elf, picking off an elf. Before I get into gameplay, I just want to quickly mention there is a small issue. The r slash popper reddit forum has about 34,000 members, but only a few hundred seem to be active, maybe even a thousand at, at one time. I'm not sure popper's doing too well at the moment, and it's not really getting a whole lot of support from WotC, so I don't know if, if they're like just sabotaging it, I don't know what's going on with popper. But I would like to continue doing content, and I would like to continue doing content that people like to watch and want to watch. So, if you know of another format that you enjoy, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm thinking about Commander, and doing at least one Commander Day uh, every single week, or maybe even two. Uh, I used to do Commander content, and I'm even willing to start doing some Arena. Uh, if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, let's get into the gameplay. Alright, welcome back to gameplay. Let me adjust my face cam. Yes, of course, we want to play first. We always want to play first in basically every format, in almost every single deck, in every format. Huh, we have lands. We have proliferation. Um, keep. Sketchy, but I keep. I'll take that one. Um, and then we pass. Alright, what does our opponent play? Oh, they have Sphinx of the Winds. Sure. Uh, Evolving Wilds. Is it Delver? Well, well. Uh, is it worth it to just play Island? Well, they can't counter this. Right? <laughs> Then they- then it- watch, your opponent just says, yes, we counter. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with the mana loss, it's- it's okay. It's alright. Uh, Evolving Wilds. What do you have? Sure. Do you go get mountain? Plains? You get plains? That's good. No removal. Journey to nowhere. Oh, core Skyfisher returning a land. That's very slow. But I- I definitely see why you did it. And we get 2-3. Seems alright. And there comes our Cloudfin Raptor. Definitely not on time. Hey bud, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, we're cool with gaining the one life. Don't worry, you don't have to ask us twice. But I know you are Magic the Gathering Online. Um, think we're gonna pass turn here. Hmm, attacking. No. No, no, no. <laughs> we couldn't. Not even if we wanted. Seeker of Dewey. Oh, nice, neat brew. Green, white. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. I I see a plan. Uh, is it worth it sacrificing this peat bog, though? Yeah, probably. Why did you untap? I did not... <laughs> I did not ask for this. Uh... Do we shoot this core Skyfisher? Yeah, shoot core Skyfisher. Oh, and then we can shoot that one next turn. I'll play Peepog now. Ooh, getting in. Hmm, seems tempting. But no, I'll pass for now. <laughs> Thanks again for offering to have my creatures suicide themselves. Oh, Naya? Naya, Core Skyfisher? And Seek of the Way. Oh, this is... Is this like Boros Aggro splashing for great... Oh, Tribal Flames. That's... Pretty decent. I see. Uh, I need to tell them. Night, hi, nice brew. This just seems just this just seems mandatory. I am cool with that. 
You got it. You got it. Ouch. Boy, am I sad. <laughs> oh, at the loss of that. Okay. Well. No. I, I'm cool. Okay, can we get back to our turn and killing your stuff? Don't use that one gray mana to shoot my cloud fit. Oh, then, uh, that's Nukato. Okay. That's a... Do I shoot this? Yes? Play land? Ooh, I should've... I was gonna draw with this, uh, plan. Actually, undo... Undo. Um... I think I might want to... Bounce the coddle. Get that. Wait a minute. Hey, wait. Um, a 1-1 one, one enter the battlefield. Doesn't our creature evolve? I don't... I thought I understood how evolve work. Okay, so this has greater power than that. <sighs> yeah, sure, magic. Fine. Do whatever you want. It, it's... It's fine, I guess. God, you suck. Uh, we'll proliferate that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Hmm, this seems like good value. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're forgetting anything. Ah, oh, yes, that is the scurry. We should have... Oh, well. Oh, well, it's fine. Um. Yeah, it's okay. I don't understand. I thought I, I thought I understood how this worked all this time, and I have no idea. So next time, scurry, um, and plan... And we can definitely play whatever we draw, so we might... Okay, there's Abundant Growth. Good play. Yep, alright, you got your card. I should've just hit Always Yield on that. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, you're gonna play Nakato. Oh, you're gonna play Core Sky Fisher. I can't... Mmm, okay. Right, right. You're gonna bounce the other Core Sky Fisher? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Yep, and there's the coddle. Okay. Mmm, bouncy shenanigans are annoying, and I don't like that. But making a 3-3 seems okay. There's Fester Creep. Hello. I would like this. Now please tell me that this stupid thing- NOW IT EVOLVES! Now it evolves, I don't understand. Why did this- I thought it was just on ETBs. Yeah, sure. Always yield. Yes, of course. We would like that. <laughs> Very much. Uh... I will continue to- No, wait. I think I would like to shoot this. Because now they can't block with it. I will proliferate. Proliferate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this feels like Christmas. <laughs> ah, yes. Much better. <laughs> this, this feels much better. Do we offer a trade? No. No. <laughs> no, we, we do not offer the trade. Let's be, let's be a little stingy with our cards here. I'll afford to... Th I think I can afford to take 3 down to 14 this turn. Yeah, so we go down to 14. God, we have two more arrow counters. Yeah, sure. What are you going to hit me with? Oh, the Nakata. Wow. Okay. Yeah, sure. No. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> you can You can have it. Listen, it's all you. <laughs> I really want to pro proliferate so bad right now. Uh, I need something. Probably don't run out Thrumming Bird from now on. First thing. But the value seems so good. Tribal Flames, no! Okay, well. Oh, Core Skyfisher? Yeah, sure. 
Yep. Okay, you bounce that one? Sure. Oh, Thurming Bird, yeah! <laughs> That's exactly what we want! <laughs> Ooh, can we... Can we actually afford to shoot that and then Wrath... Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack first. I'm gonna offer the trade. And actually, I can I can attack with both of these. And if they try to block either one, I can just shoot it and I save myself some mana, which is kind of fine. Um. And I was gonna do that anyway. Uh, I was gonna lose this thing anyway if I do the thing. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Attack. You choose not to block. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. Um cancel. Um I'm gonna undo undo undo. Yeah, I'm gonna pass the turn. I'm gonna let them try to play the other core skyfisher, try to bounce it, and then I'm going to start doing I would rather shrink these cards on their turn. Cause then they can't attack me for as much with this Nakato. Might be a little greedy. There. There, there's a Nakato. Isn't that nice? <laughs> oh, look, it's so cute. It's a 1-1. One, one. Well, now we got plenty of mana. Now we just need Demir Guild Mage. Please. Off the top. Off the top. Good clicks all around. Ah, there's there's the Nakato. Do you play Core Sky Fisher? No. Oh, yes. Actually, yes. Yes, yes. They do. Oh, God. Abundant growth. Oh, no. <laughs> that is not good. That is most not good. Actually... Well, throwing bird. <laughs> Don't bolt this one. Uh, we gotta hope that we draw gas next turn. No, no, let's not, let's not tempt fate here. I will let the core skyfisher get in. They don't have another one, right? And I'll always yield to you. Hopefully that lasts for the rest of the match. Oh, uh... Good. Swamp. Tribal Flames is better. Oh, that's... no. Conceding seems good. I'm just gonna take it. And hope for better days next turn. Oh, Seeker of the Way. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Thriving Turtle. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just concede this game. They got it. Sideboard. Sideboard time. What do I want? Uh, Stormbound guy seems not half bad. Uh, Serrated Arrows also seems not half bad. Renclaw Trout seems 
Mm, kind of, yeah, okay. Seems okay. Chainer's edicts are a maybe. Vampiric links are maybes. And callous dismissals also maybe. The hydroblast. Uh, I'm I'm not I'm not liking that or or a flux too much. It just seems like. You know, they're. It just seems like they have so few red spells that hydroblast is. I mean, sure, we did see three uh, tribal flames last game, but I don't think that I was. Uh, I don't think that that's going to be normal for us to see the stormbound guys. Maybe, maybe. Vampiric link, probably not. It looks like our creatures can outclass theirs pretty easily. Actually, it's just um, we got unlucky and they had gotten some pretty decent removal in a deck that doesn't normally have a lot of removal. Uh, serrated arrows. Would I rather have a Serrated Arrows or... Yeah, and we, they also got Core Skyfisher, so they got lucky with some good Flicker shenanigans. It doesn't look like their deck is full of Flyers. Uh, is Callous Dismissal alright? I mean, yeah, it does get us ahead on... Um, on board. I don't think that Evasion is really going to be the thing that... uh gets us through the game, so Callous Dismissal might be better. A uh, minute left, god. Um, yeah, I'll trade a Ren Claw Trout for um, out for the other Iron Bully. Have these arrows. Um, actually, I'll take the other Serrated Arrows over one Grim Affliction. Nah. Serrated Arrows is a little on the slower side. Is Jameer Guildmage in here? Did I remove that one yet? Okay, yeah, he's already moved. Oh, what is there left? We'll get rid of the other serrated arrows. Um, submit. Fingers crossed. Yes, we would like to play first again. And no, Mulligan, please. Oh, I could have traded out a Fester Creep. Ah, new deck. Um, we got Peep Bog. Keep. Um. How bad? Okay, if I get Blue Source, I'll be rewarded all right with these Pentad Prisms. I think I might have to get rid of Contingency Plan. Or Fester Creep. Yeah, let's go Contingency Plan. Or uh, Fester Creep's not exactly great in this matchup. We'll go with Pete Fog. Oh boy, oh boy. Can we not be punished in this game? Okay, you got Forest. You got Nakatl. Sure. Sure, sure. Well, they're not going to do... Oh, okay, there's, uh, Scurry. Do I wait till next turn to play Prism? Off, uh, play Double Prism. Then use that format. Yeah, I think so. Then use, um, <laughs> use the four mana that I just gained from these Prisms. To play Arcbound Stinger and a plan. Oh, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's three damage right there. All right. That's, that's, um, not Sacred Foundry, but pretty good. <laughs> oh man, all color Ash Barons. That's, that's a pretty good card. Ooh, now I'm thinking Vampiric Link might be better. <laughs> I'm gonna use one of these and one of these. Uh, pay zero. Click a mana symbol to use that mana symbol. Uh, does Sunburst let you use more than two? It's not an X cost spell. Yeah, use. I clicked. 
I wish this thing was more responsive. That's um the biggest downside of this. Oh, actually, um, undo. Am I willing to waste a pentad prism here? Actually, I can just I can just do some stuff. Uh, contagi conta uh, can should we do go with the plan? Yeah, I'm gonna you go ahead and use this. Uh, I think we might need to uh, burn one of these plans here. Yeah, let's go ahead and burn uh, one plan. Probably losing a little value, not getting uh, the arc bound stinger up an atom, but I would really like to refuel these lands right now. Proliferate, proliferate, proliferate. Uh, yeah, seems good. Draw a card. Oh, and we get that land. Sweet. I can feel way better. Ooh, uh, let's go with... Should I Vampiric Link it? No. Yes. We'll shoot that one. <laughs> Great. Um, we'll pass. We'll leave it like this. So now whenever that thing attacks, whenever that deals damage, we gain that much life. So it fogs it forever. <laughs> it fogs it forever. That's, that's fine. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Uh, we just gotta maintain our air forces, and I will always yield to that one too. Always yes to Abundant Growth. Yes, Seeker of the Way, sure. Well, maybe I should have Seeker of the Way. <laughs> we can both gain some life, wouldn't that be nice? Me and an opponent working together. Gamers helping gamers. What a nice thought. Uh, we'll tap that for black. Use that one. Yeah, we'll play this one. And we'll proliferate down this nice big list of cards. Oh, that feels so good. Done. And we get Swamp. Uh, I will wait to... I don't have anything to, you know, play out using the Swamp. Uh, I'd rather just hold it back in hand and... Make them think, oh yeah, there's more gas on the way. Big card, big card. Really, huge card. Is that Ancient Grudge? Is that Ancient Grudge? Yeah, it got me. Should I, should I play Metallic Rebuke? And they're going to then flash it back uh, for Ancient Grudge? Okay, yeah, sure. Yes. Got a 4-4. Four, four. Don't flash it back. Don't flash it back. Damn it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, that was... It's a pretty good card. Pretty good sideboard. Good sideboard. You may take your reward in the form of beats. Not by Dre, but mostly by blood. Ah, yes. Ah, Blood Splatter. <laughs> Ooh, and we gain a Thrumming Bird. Isn't that nice? Uh, we'll play this one. And we'll produce all the mana in the known universe. Known multiverse. Through these artifacts. Soul Ring ain't got nothing on this. <laughs> Come on. Stop. Stop. No, I'm not blocking that. Take- I'll take my two. Thank you. Come on. Oh god. 5-5? Five, five? You're kidding me. This is much better than when I played it. Oh, okay, yes. There we are. Thank god. <laughs> Rescue's on the way. Let's, um, let's get in. Yep. Uh, I think that's everything. 
At least this is still better than the awful infect plan. <laughs> Trying to proliferate seven times in a row is so much worse than anything else that we could possibly be doing. Oh yeah, if you're wondering, um, yes, this is basically the best uh, version of hardened skills that we could, the closest version of hardened skills that we could get to. Okay, yes, uh, Nalea's presence. Hmm, Ash Barons and Evolving Wild seem to be doing great for you. Oh boy, what is that? <laughs> Eight? Yeah, that's right. You don't. You don't you dare. Do we block? No. No. <laughs> don't block up until the last second. Alright, what are you paying cost for? If you say ancient grudge again. Oh, okay, that's That's alright, yep, yeah, got it. Hold on, wait. Manners. Where are our manners? GG. Actually, no. Where are our actual manners? Let's allow them to see the number. What is that? What's that say? Negative one? God, let it happen, magic. There it is. GG. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. <clears throat> it's a new day. Last night I was getting a little tired while recording, but that's okay. We're still gonna get our second game in. Well, we could play two cards in our hand. Mulligan. Yes, both colors. Yeah, I'll keep this one. Uh, both colors. We got a bounce spell. We got iron bully. What do we put back? Um, I think I'd rather put back the pentad prism. Yeah, put back the prism. Play the scurry. Pass the turn. Just the planes. Um, all right. I'll callous dismissal on their turn. The first thing that they play. Oh no, wait. That's a sorcery. We're already messing it up. And they played into the planes. That's not what I was hoping for. Sure. Mana tithe. Oh. Oh, they finally played something. A journey to nowhere. Oh, is this mono white control? Do we callous dismissal the journey to nowhere? To give them back the journey to nowhere just so we can get a token? I'll take an iron bully. We'll see what they prefer more. If they take the bully, they they probably don't have a lot of uh, good options, and they're just going to prevent damage. Um, Fester Creep. If they take that, they likely have smaller creatures. If they take the zombie, they might just be going for any value available. Alright, what's this? Well, contingency plan. <laughs> Ooh, Pete Bog. Um... Do I want to make it a three-turn clock or just stay at a four-turn clock? Uh, I'll just get in for now. I, I don't know what I'm what I'm pushing myself into. I don't know if I want to press my advantage or not. Ooh, Citra Priest. Okay. Is this Soul Sisters? We're just going to play out the old hand here. Shoot. Alright, we plan to gain a little advantage. Cloudfriend Raptor now? Ah. Well, if I draw a creature next turn, then I can play the creature. Cloudfriend Raptor gets a little swole. We win the match! They scoop it up. Uh, I'm guessing that it is Soul Sisters. I'm guessing that this Callous Dismissal does not do wonders because their creatures are very cheap. Uh, I'm guessing the Rendclaw Trial might be a little better. Um, God, do I want to Vampiric Link one of their flyers? Like the Trimera? No, there's no way that they, they made the same deck as me. <laughs> there's no way that they're playing the Soul Sisters deck that I made like a couple weeks ago, right? No. No, no way. Maybe. <laughs> God, I don't, I don't know. Um, but they didn't like the Fester Creeps. I feel like kind of a sign that maybe we should apply a little pressure that way. Um, yeah, I'll take the Serrated Arrows over their Demir Guild Mage to pick off multiple creatures repeatedly. Uh, I don't want the Chainers either. Uh, let's run it back like this. I'll, I'll leave the one Callus Dismissal in. Because it might be relevant one or a few times. It might be a good 
situation here or there for it. Ooh, Dismal Backwater, Thrumming Bird. All right, I'm gonna ask them if they're Soul Sisters. All right, if our opponent hasn't guessed it, it's. I think it's fine if we just tell them anyway. We're uh, Hardened Scales. Yes, this is basically Hardened Scales. Uh, I'm gonna hold back the Fester Creep this time. It may be worth it to hold it up and use it, uh, like just on our turn. And then, oh, hello, Obsidian Accol That does not save you from a Fester Creep. It does may mean a good blocker though. Okay, they probably did not bring in Gut Shot. I feel pretty safe with this th this one singular thrumming bird here. I I feel like its odds are pretty good. Okay, quicksand odds getting a little worse. <laughs> yeah, they are very afraid of the wrath. Oh, they're getting frisky. They wanted to poke in. Sure, I I'll let you t I'll let you get in for a quick face touch. Double fester creep. They see the stinger. They read the stinger. Stinger resolves because. Against Mono White? Yeah, it probably would. Can't get in because of Quicksand. Uh, I guess past the turn. Wow, they bring in Holy Light and they bring in anti-Wrath cards against us. Okay, that is... That's a plan, <laughs> I guess. Well, let's see how he likes Turtles. That's right, read the Thriving Turtle. We're always cool with energy going on. Oh, they play Battle Screech? Ah, yes, that's that's a pretty good. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Hmm, Cloudfin Raptor? I'm wondering if there's a way that we can throw out a Cloudfin Raptor, then throw out Fester Creep, pop Fester Creep, and have it mean something? I don't think that there is, unfortunately. Okay, what? Uh, the one... Alright, we have the one Cloudfin Raptor. Let's throw out the one Arcbound Stinger. It'll evolve the Cloudfin Raptor. Next turn, I think Fester Creep plus Grim Affliction. That's the one thing that I wanted you to... Kind of wanted you to shoot that anyway. Now I may safely block. Oh good, they don't want to attack. Okay, they do want to attack. Well, we take three. Ah, down to 17. Perfect. I think what I want to do here is I want to double Fester Creep. And with this one extra mana, I can Pentad Prism. And then remove one of the counters to get back the other mana that we need to double Fester Creep. Fester Creep. Here they come. Oh god, look at these things. They're literally just a walking plague. Is it worth it for Thriving Turtle to get in? No, probably not. We'll pass. And then next turn, I'll take another three. E do you have any other cards? They might have bit advance their board state again. If you have double holy light, I I concede. <laughs> Alright, here we go again, down to 14. I don't think that it's worth it to sequence Pentad Prism into Grim Affliction. Uh I will just which you're gonna give uh protection. I still get to proliferate, right? Yeah. Yes? Okay, they chose not to give that protection. Uh odd choice. But sure. <laughs> I'm I just feel like I've clearly done something wrong somehow yeah okay this is this is fine we'll just we'll just keep going like this i know i haven't messed up <laughs> um no i'll leave the bird back of course bump the turtle bump the turtle i should have done this earlier yep ping for one uh all caught up 19 to 14 okay raise the alarm some things that we can eat Oh good, our, oppon our opponent finally decided to attack after looking down a bunch of beaters that might potentially get a lot bigger. And decided, hmm, I think I'm willing to risk it all in a one, in a, uh, in a avalanche of tokens. I'm not doing any of the nonsensical double blocks. I will take that four though. Oh, Guardian's Pledge. Okay, that, that, that did it. That did it. <laughs> I would go down to two, they would kill my creatures. Not good, don't like it. That was just a rough game because they drew three, four of their sideboard cards. I'm I'm just gonna run it back. Uh it was just it was just an unfortunate uh running. That might have been half of their sideboard cards that they put in. Okay, I will keep this. I think I'll run out Cloudfin Raptors first. Scurry first, Cloudfin Raptors next turn. Ooh, 
another prism. That's not what I wanted. Uh, one Cloud Fin Raptor, please. Ooh, Sitcher Priest? Yeah, sure. Let's party with the Sitcher. Okay, they didn't play Javelin Air to ping this and get a little value. So I'm going to say that it might be safe for Thrumming Bird to come down and party. Poke with the Cloud Fin. Yes, I'm always fine with. And yes, I'm always fine with this trigger. This bird can get as big as it wants. Ooh, Veteran Armor. Another sideboard card, sure. Just don't get in the way of the flyers. It should have hit that I'm always okay with them gaining life. Ooh. Uh, we'll just get in for an attack because we desperately don't want to remove both counters from the remaining lands that we have and go down to zero lands. Always okay with that. Perfect. Main? Sure. Let's see. Four, let's go with Prism. Uh, then the Arcbound Stinger. We have an advantage in the air. Let's try and keep it. They likely kept their hand because of sideboard card reasons. But we're not super interested in Wrathing the Board all that much. We are mostly a beatdown deck. They just saw main deck Wrath spell and thought, hmm, need to protect my creatures. And we thought, cool, whatever. Oh, gather the townsfolk? Sure. I'm, I'm always fine with you getting a little life. There's literally nothing that I can do about it. Okay, back up to 20. Get in for three. Okay then. No, no, it's okay, you can hit it. We're gonna attack, uh, punch our opponent for a good chunk of life, and then, ah, uh, yeah, like five counters? That seems good. Great, Pentad Prism again. Play Cloudfin. Play Arcbound. Then play Turtle. I think this is the first match where it actually turned out super definitely 100% in our favor. Oh, is it okay if I say that I'm always okay with this ability? Ah, now it is. We have two more mana. We can use this right now and make... I don't think it's worth sacrificing our access to black mana, so I'm just going to pass like this. And besides, we can grow our little baby turtle over here. Look, he's so small. He needs his energy. Ooh, Holy Light, they get rid of the Thrumming Bird and the Arcbound Stinger. Ouch. They got their two for one, and we still have a two turn clock. They could have attacked and actually done something. Yes, Magic Online, gaining the one life is perfectly fine with us. It appears that our opponent literally may have rage quit because none of their sideboard options worked the way that they thought, and our deck definitely didn't work the way that they thought. Okay, so let's go ahead and cast uh, the contingency plan. Proliferate, 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 proliferate. Yeah, seems okay. Ah, and we draw into a nice island. That's good. Let's get in for an attack. Okay, and yes, we would like to pump. Uh, oh, wait, oh, we shouldn't have attacked with that turtle. We got a little antsy. Oh, they choose to block with the one little guy, sure. If they, if they Guardians Pledge, that is 9 plus 2 here. Uh, that's not lethal? Yes, that is 13 damage. They can almost kill us. Isn't that lovely? Uh, but we have lethal next turn. Just in the air. Oh god, if we get a Plur Freight card off the top, oh, that'd be the best day. Ooh, Guardians Pledge plus Gut Shot. Oh, our opponent sent us a message. You got this. If I had one more creature out and I could have damaged you enough. Oh, GG's. GG. Alright, we got him. We got him. I I'm gonna go ahead and leave the match. Okay, so I think we've learned that we might want more creatures with a little extra toughness boost. Uh, and try to be more aware of the various little wrath spells. It's just that our creatures are only 1-1s one uh, for sometimes one turn or two turns at a time if our game plan is going well so a lot of the cards like a trick electricery nausea or holy light that we just saw normally wouldn't uh have a big impact and you see they only got like that two for one for three mana that wasn't a big deal for us but it was still a it was still an issue 
Turns out I like the Thriving Turtles, and I do like the little bit of energy that we get for the Thriving Turtle. However, I don't like the fact that it doesn't automatically get that counter, which is really annoying. Because a lot of times I want to use it for a blocker, but I also want to main phase, proliferate everything, and put counters on everybody. So maybe, maybe get rid of the Sea Turtle if I do this deck again. Which I'm probably gonna do again. And also get some better sideboard cards. I feel like we could do a little bit better against uh, the control matchups. Maybe just something other than just Relic of Progenitus. Or maybe just a Serrated Arrows or something. Let me know some good cards to put in the deck uh, down below. And don't forget to remind me uh, what deck that you would like to see next Friday for Fan Friday. And what format you would like to see me play in next. Thank you for watching and coming in for that face touch.